Hey Last week we went on an amazing hike to this place called Ponderosa down by the river um, with Radek and Helena who are our neighbors from the Czech Republic and Katie and Amaris yeah Amaris and the little dog is also dog name I love I love it was supposed to be I love you then they just said I love <laughs> and it was it was a great hike uh, well it wasn't really a hike because there wasn't there wasn't many hills um, but it was a really really nice walk mm. and the scenery was was breathtaking don't you think mm, so nice it was it was something special the water was like really green, mm. the weather was awesome, there was hardly any clouds in the sky. Even though the water was freezing! Yeah, I can't testify to that. So we hiked up for about 30 minutes and at the end of that we reached a waterfall and it was very, very pretty, very beautiful. The sun rolling high. Dean actually hiked up to the top of the waterfall and uh, I didn't want to go because it was too much, but um, it, it was... It was a bit of a scary trek up, to be honest. I yeah. really wanted Doreen to come up because it would have been cool, but she wouldn't have, have right made footwork. it. Yeah, she wouldn't have made it because <laughs> yeah. it was... Yeah, it was it was physical, man. And coming down, like, I, I almost... I slid down for mm. about 10 seconds mm. and scratched up my leg and everything. So. <laughs> it was really beautiful and... Well, the water was freezing. <laughs> it's so cold! But it was nice anyways. Yeah, waterfalls are my favorite aspects of nature. I just, I love waterfalls. Um, and so, yeah, it was very beautiful. Put your phone in your pocket. Hi. So Katie, how are you doing? I'm doing good. What's four plus four? Eight. And where are you going next? Next? What's five times five plus two? Whoa. Come on. I hate math. You're like an okay. A student. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an A student who doesn't like math. I don't think I can honestly like this. It's the sun. Sabbath we had haystacks again Whoop. and um, real ones real ones and um, I I made some sugar free gluten free what else free vegan um, thankfully not flavor free <laughs> like I made these little chocolate balls uh, with one was with coconut the other one was with peanut butter in the middle and it was really 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 lovely um, I kind of made it up I kind of got some tips from a few other people but yeah it was they were really tasty yeah they were yeah well because we're on the fourth week of our sugar fast and so we have to create ways of <laughs> of you know enjoying of food appeasing. <laughs> oh, taste buds. Then we got back um, for the campaign that's still happening. It's finishing this weekend mm. and we're having Mike Hazel come to teach on archaeology and this book called A Thousand Shall Fall that some of you may have read. Um, so he's coming. That should be that should be awesome. Mm -hmm. and we got back for the campaign last week and um, yeah, it was really good. We have, we're have having a lot of visitors come. We've had quite a few um, requests for baptism as well. So mm. thank you for everyone that was praying like we asked last time. Um, your prayers have been answered. Our prayers have been answered. 
and it's been a fantastic, fantastic time. I just wanted to give, keep you guys updated on how my hair cutting uh, job has been going. Um, I think we managed to raise about $650 to $700 already, and so that has been fantastic. I've been very, very busy just cutting hair. I'd be go, I would go to work and then come back and do hair, or before I go to work, I do hair. So it's just been going very well, and um, yeah, praise the Lord. Yep, she's been working very hard, um, and the haircuts are looking really good. This week, we also went to this place called the Water Tower here um, at Weimar. Mm. It's up this long, big hill by our farm. It was the first time we've ever been. People are always talking about, oh, the Water Tower is so beautiful. You need to go and see the Water Tower. It's so, it's so amazing, the Water Tower, the Water Tower. We got there, and we were like, bro, it's just a, a wall. <laughs> it's like a very big, circular wall. We thought the water tower itself was the thing that was going to look amazing, but it was actually the view as you're walking up to the water tower, mm -hmm. uh, which to be fair was awesome. Mm. It was really, really cool. Yeah. And that day, um, I even walked 15,000 steps. Yeah, because um, we went on the walk, yeah, in the morning. Yep, so that was, I think, the most steps I've ever walked probably in my life. Probably more than all my steps accumulated throughout <laughs> this whole year. Um, and hopefully that will work a reformation in my life. <laughs> so thank you to everyone who contributed to um, liking our Facebook post about tummy rubs. Um, Darling can attest she's right here. She can <laughs> let you know I do give really good tummy rubs, right? <laughs> um, and that's all it was about. So anyone that was thinking anything else... You guys are silly. Um, I didn't realize illiteracy was so high yeah. in the UK. Next time read the post. As you all know, last week Wednesday was Dean's birthday. <laughs> Even if you don't all know that. <laughs> Yeah, so um, it was his birthday and he turned 25 years old. He turned 20. Yes, 25 years old. Yes, he's getting old. I am a tenth, a tenth? of 250 years old. <laughs> That's how I'm making myself feel better about this. And um, yeah, so we went to a restaurant called Casey Noodles again for, yeah. to celebrate his birthday. Have you been there before? Yeah, we had them About ten times maybe. Yeah, and um, we had a little breakfast for him uh, on that morning because on the morning of his birthday he was going to be really busy. And as you know, we are on a sugar fast. Which we've already mentioned, so, so you should know that by now. Yes, so I was like, How, what am I going to do with, you know, with the whole birthday thing because I can't get him a cake. So I got these little... No one wants a sugar free cake. No one. So I bought these little, um, I bought these little sausage roll things that Evelyn in the bakery that, that she makes, um, they're called Pigs in Blanket, but they're a different style to- And they're not real pigs. They're not real pigs. It's all vegan. And so I bought about 20 of them because Dean said, oh, I could eat 20 of these. And I so stacked them up. So you actually bought me 20 of them. <laughs> so today, Darling is leaving me. She's going to, to Washington, to Vancouver, Washington, with some people here. Um, my outreach partner, Jonathan Charlie, is getting married to um, his lovely fiance Melissa Butler. Unfortunately, I can't go because I have so much work here to do. Um, but Dolly's gonna go, she's gonna have a great time, aren't you? You're not gonna miss me at all, right? Um, it's, it's like a 10 hour drive. It's very far, she's probably gonna puke a few times. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be great. Yeah. Um, so we just want to wish Jonathan and Melissa all the best and ask that you um, pray for them to have a great wedding day but for them to have an even better marriage. They're very, very great people and we love them very much. So that's all from us and uh, we shall be back next week. We've got some really cool things coming up that we want to keep you guys interested. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. See ya. Bye. Bye.